Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you and to glorify you for your goodness and for your mercies and your end forever. Thank you for the privilege of sharing your word. Use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet that I may minister under the protection of that brother speak a better thing. I come against any spirit that come to disrupt and waste time in Jesus' name. And I declare and decree that this is holy ground, this is holy moment dedicated for you. I pray that you are my my word as I share, Lord, from you, O oh God, that it may go forth like good seed upon the hearts of your people, as uh, that will be like good ground, that this word may bear fruit. Spirit of the living God, water this word. And as you bless your people, do not pass me by. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Welcome to the program of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I am your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor. I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, and this is a production of One World Digital Media, which is situated in Seattle, Washington. What a mighty God we have, and especially this season, that we can use the media, we can use the gadgets that we have, that men and women had. They got that idea. They did not ignore it. Ignorance kills many things. Don't ignore the idea that God may give you because it may come to transform the world. The title of my message today will be Our Hearts Matters. Your heart is like the engine in your life. Our heart matters. And in this case, I'm talking from a spiritual perspective. We do many things, we see many things, but let us know that one thing matters, our heart. My words of reference will be from the book of Job 1, verse 10 to 12. Then I will read our Proverbs 4, 23 to 24. In Jesus' name, the Bible says, oh, let me, Job, let me start 9, it says, so Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? Have you not made a hedge around him, around his household, and allowed all that he has on every side? Have you blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the Lord? But now stretch out your hand and touch all that he has, and he will surely cause you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only do not lay a hand on his person. So Satan went out uh, from the presence of the Lord. I want to say another fashion says, do not touch his heart. Proverbs 4, 22 to 23, the Bible says, For they are, they, uh, uh, verse 23, Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. Verse 24. Put away from you a deceitful mouth and put puffers and lips far from you. Let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Remove your foot from evil. I read from verse 23 to 27. Our hearts are very important. And especially now when we have a worldwide pandemic of the sea. What? I don't want to mention it. I want to mention and lift up the name of Jesus. The name above every other name. The name under which every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. But I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, as we are facing the lockdown, the lockdown, as we are facing the challenge in the medical field, even to the very wealthiest states and countries, guard your heart. Filter what comes. I open up my phone and I see it's loaded with information. Do I read? Yes, I don't ignore, but I filter. You must learn to filter to guard your heart. Otherwise, you're going to be lost. You're going to be confused. We need to be established in Jesus' name. That's why the Bible is telling us that we be established. Be established man and woman of God in the word of God. Our hearts matter most. As we are facing the lockdown in, you know, by the companies, you know, or oh, maddening people so that the, the spread of this virus of C does not, you know, over, you know, overtake us. You have to guard your heart because it is very easy. You'll be locked down. You'll be there just looking on the media and nothing will help you. Look just like you can open a mail, you see the contents and take the action. It is not an issue of you looking on the media, talking of the media, getting angry because of the news. It will not help you guard your heart. Filter what comes. I love tea and I love it the 
the original way, roast tea. I boil and I have to filter it with a filter. Otherwise, you cannot drink that tea and enjoy it with the rest of you. They can even choke you. That's what I mean. There is a lot going out there in the media. You are going to hear this. You are going to see this. But you have to filter so that you can guard your heart. Our children, we must pray that God will guard them from the media. There will be cartoons that will be coming out of this to mislead the minds and the brains of our people, of our children. We must guard our hearts. We must guard our behaviors. You know, there are people who are behaving like nothing is happening. They used to ignore the word of God. They are still ignoring. I don't know what voice they would want to hear because today we are living in a time that God is calling all over people for a crusade and tell them, I am the Lord your God. And beside me there is no other. Above me there is no other. I am the Lord. And as long as he is the Lord, he, even though he gave Satan the permission to go touch Job, he said, do not touch his person. Your person is your spirit. Your heart is very, very important. You need to be established. Your heart needs to be established. How are you going to be established, man and woman of God? Mm, you'll be established by taking the word of God into your heart from the written to the, your heart. Because out of your heart comes out issues of life. You talk to somebody, they turn to you in a negative way, in a rude way, and you did not even sleep together. You just said hi. And as you enter to that office, somebody look at you like this. There are issues of life in their heart. When you hear, see that, when you see somebody just be annoyed for nothing. That's somebody who need to be prayed for so that their, their hearts can be established. They are shaky. The buildings, the builders when they build, the most important thing is the foundation of a building. The foundation of your life is very important. If you are grounded in the word of God, things will come, they will not shake you. I want to tell you, I am in the medical field. I am going to work. I'm guarding myself. I'm actually oh, sometimes overdoing it by you know, putting the mask even when it's not necessary. But I feel that is how I feel comfortable. And I'm an advocate for myself. So my brother, my sister, I'm not saying you be ignorant. But guard your heart. When all those things come, you must guard your heart. Filter what comes to your heart. Because it is very, very important. I'm going to read those words again in Proverbs. Listen to me carefully. And please read them word by word. Word. Make them your personal Bible study. Keep your heart with all diligence. You must be diligent, my brother, my sister, because of your heart. You're going to hear things. Somebody will call you and say, what do you think about this government? What do you think about the scientists? That is not your business. Filter what comes that can establish your heart. For it, out of it springs the issues of life. Put away from you a deceitful mouth. Many people are taking advantage of this season to deceive people. Uh, I read the other time oh, that many people, there is a lot of scam out there. My brother, my sister, don't fall a victim. But you can only be able to be established and not be a victim if you are well grounded in the word of God. And the word of God says clearly in Psalms 1, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, for he shall be like a tree planted by the water side. Be planted by the water side of the word of God in Jesus' name. The Bible continues to tell us, Oh, let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyes look right before you. Don't just walk like a, like a bright person. Look what is going on. Don't just assume you enter to a hospital. You don't want to you don't want to sanitize yourself. Wash yourself with soap. Well, look straight. That you know, I started this year by sharing about 2020 being a, a year that we need to have our visions very, 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 very carefree and you Take care of your vision. Are you a 2020 or are you a 2040? If you're a 2040, you need a prescription of the spiritual grasses in the word of God. That will be able to show you the way, like David says in Psalms 105, verse 19, 119, that your word is a lamp unto my feet. It is the word that, that is going to, you know, guide you as you go along the way. Sometimes when you end, when I enter into a room of a patient and it is dark, instead of disrupting them with the writer, 
I, I, I get out my flashlight and do what I'm doing in the computer. You need that word, word, word that you only you. You don't need to interrupt others because you are guarding your heart. You look what you can see. You read that the word of God is telling you, oh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You must have that word that can lighten you when there is dark moments. How about when we become jobless because of what is going on? Is your faith built on your, on your job when it is shaken? What are you going to do? I have an answer for you. The Bible says in um, Psalms 11 verse 3, when the foundations of the, of, the, of the world are shaken, what will the righteous do? And I will take you to Psalms 46 verse 10. Our God, you be still and see that God is God. He is our refuge, a present help in times of need. My brother, my sister, let us guard our hearts, filter what comes. Information will come. Don't ignore. Don't read. it. There is very good information. I read there and I see hot, you know, you know hot, hot, hot water. Of course, it's not going to harm you. Take one water take that advice but don't take everything i had people are taking even chlorox oh that is stupid god help us don't go well, don't go like a bright person filter what comes you know it says let your eyes then ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established don't just walk like a bright person ponder think to ponder is to think carefully May God help you because your heart matters, my heart matters, the heart of our spouses matters, the heart of our husbands matters, and our children, our neighbors, our nations, our readers, even the organization we work for. As you walk into that company, if you are those people that must work this particular time when people are locked down, don't walk with fear. Go and pour the care for and say, God, I'm entering here. Go before me. Be with me. And I'm not going to fear. Am I going to be ignorant? Are you going to be ignorant? God forbid. Let us be careful and filter what comes to you. Guard your heart because out of it comes the issues of life in Jesus' name. And I will encourage you to read Proverbs for the entire uh, part of it. And the book of Job is going to be of good help to you. And one announcement I have to say is in a song. And it's in, in my mother tag. I would like to be inauthentic. Campaigner at Twenayo, Adwaito, Dari, Diakuga, Tejo, so we took the water net, Twetamoka, Nagoro, Magoro, Tokin, Edia, Tuja, Giri, Totad and Aguoya, Tuja, Giri, Totad and Aguoya. My brother, my sister, this is a time for you to declare the goodness of the Lord, but with your wisdom, don't take advantage of the situation. Give the what as it is and encourage people and God will bless you. God is calling a crusade everywhere you are there. You have never trusted the Lord. This is the time. Do you want to say this prayer after me, Lord Jesus? I come before you. I repent of my sin. Forgive me. Write my name of, in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Start walking in the newness of life. Look for a church, even in the media, which you can call a home church. If you don't have one, join my home church. It's Grace Fellowship. We are going to be having tomorrow service at 9 online. Just go to gracefellowshipmn.org and you'll be blessed from 9 a.m. There is also another church that will be having a service online uh, over the phone, uh, KCOC. Uh, and there will be a number there that you can be able to dial. If you don't know, just Give me a bus and I'll direct you to all those in Jesus' name. I love you and God loves you the most. Subscribe to our channel if you have not done so, so that you can be encouraged by these words and other ministers that come to share with us. But remember, your heart matters at this particular time. I love you and God loves you the most. Remember to exalt the name of Jesus Christ above this other C word in Jesus' name. Thank you.